Okay, so now we're going to talk about one of the central, really cool features of social mobile platform, which is couponing. Coupons are extremely important to retail businesses um, for a variety of reasons, tracking, competition, uh, specials, etc., etc., and the fact that you can now integrate this into the business's mobile website is just way cool. Notice I've got a coupons page. I am editing that coupons page, and here are my coupons tabs. We're going to talk about the location redeem coupon on this video. This may take two videos, not sure. I don't want to rush this too much. And then in the next video or next couple of videos, we'll talk about the standard coupon. So step number one, let's take this tab and we're going to slide it right in here in the body. Okay. Here it comes, location redeem. Okay, when that opens up, you see a lot of fields, and I want to talk about each of these fields in turn. ID. This is just a number that you assign to the coupon. Uh, skip down here, you notice you've got an email field. This would be the email address or an email address that the uh, business owner or you as the business owner's consultant can access. Because every time somebody redeems one of these coupons, you're going to get an email sent to this email address that the coupon was redeemed. If you've got more than one coupon online on your mobile site, let's say you have several pages, they don't all have to show up in the navigation, by the way. Let's say you have several pages for several different things. Uh, you've got newspaper ads, you've got flyers that you're handing out, you've got something on a QR code that goes to a specific page and you're testing this and keeping track of it, either the business owner is or you are, the ID is how you do that. So we're going to give this coupon an ID. Okay, Location is the location of the place where you want the coupon redeemed. Okay, so you can hear my beautiful dog in the background. Let's, uh, since my dog is currently barking, let's say that you've got a veterinary clinic and you want to get more people in the door of the veterinary clinic and let's say they've got a doggy shampooer on board and you're going to give people 25 percent off their first dog shampoo and you want people to only be able to redeem the coupon if they're really really close to the place of business of the doggy veterinary clinic shampoo place I hope that makes sense but anyway we're gonna go find the location of that and pop that in here. Okay, so let's say that I just stopped this and went out and found an animal clinic in Atlanta. This is one I know nothing about. Uh, this is not one of my clients or anything. East Atlanta Animal Clinic. I'm getting their address here. Okay, and we're going to take this. I'm going to pop that in here. Notice this works just like the uh, location stuff, the other location stuff we talked about. We're going to pop that in here, paste that, say find. Yep, that's exactly where it would be. And we're going to say this is the place. And again, that turns that into latitude or longitude. Excuse me. Now, distance limit. That's the distance that you want the redeemer to be from the business before they can redeem the coupon. And ideally, you want them to be fairly close. So I might set that at a tenth of a mile, or half a mile, you know, a quarter of a mile, something like that. If you're not in the UK or the United States or anywhere else that uses miles, I'm not sure if Australia uses miles or kilometers, or if you're from Australia and you think how ignorant Lee is, I'm just my bad, I don't know what to say. You know, the rest of the world uses kilometers. Um, we have miles and kilometers here. So you put it within your distance. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a really big distance in here because I am physically sitting at my computer and I want you to be able to watch me redeem this. So I've got to make it make this whole thing think that I'm close to the business. So me, I'm putting a well, let's put in 30 miles, 30 miles. Okay, and looks like we're definitely going to need at least one more video about this particular topic. So. Hang loose, another video coming.